Welcome to this massive pyramid known as the Pyramid of Cestius. It has a long history and is today one of the best preserved ancient buildings in Rome. The pyramid was built by request of Gaius Cestius Epilo, a rich magistrate, praetor and a member of one of the four great religious corporations in Rome. It is believed to have been built around the year 15 BC as an extraordinary tomb. One might think it is strange to find an old pyramid in the center of Rome, and in a sense it is. However, after the Roman conquest of Egypt in the year 30 BC, Rome was going through a fad for all things Egyptian. Several obelisks were taken from Egypt and placed at circuses and forums all around Rome. There was also another pyramid raised in Rome, the Pyramid of Romulus, which was demolished in the 16th century. Despite the Egyptian craze, and in contrast to popular belief, this pyramid is not based upon the famous pyramids in Giza. If you think about it, the Giza pyramids are all much shallower than this rather steep pyramid. No, the pyramid of Cestius is instead believed to have been based upon the more pointy Nubian pyramids. A Nubian kingdom was attacked shortly before the construction of this pyramid, which suggests that Gaius Cestius possibly served in that campaign and was inspired. Historians suggest that the purpose of the tomb's pyramid shape was to serve as a commemoration of the Roman victories in Africa. The pyramid stands an impressive 37 meters high and almost 30 meters wide. It was built using concrete and brick on a travertine foundation and covered with marble blocks. Today, the pyramid is located in the city, but during the time of its construction, it stood in open countryside. During this period, large tombs were not allowed within the city walls. However, Rome grew at a rapid, and by the third century, the pyramid had been surrounded by buildings, and thus became part of the city. The pyramid was even incorporated into the city wall during the construction of the Aurelian Wall towards the end of the 3rd century. This inclusion of the pyramid into the wall is the main reason why it is so well preserved. This made it hard to demolish without also destroying the Aurelian Wall. If you take a close look at the pyramid, you will see that two of the sides have inscriptions which dedicate the pyramid to Cestius. It reads, Gaius Cestius Epilo, son of Lucius, Praetor, Tribune to the Plebes, Septemvir Epilonum, with the latter referring to his religious group. Below you can see a smaller inscription stating, The work was completed in accordance with the will in 330 days by the decision of the heir Pontius Mela, son of Publicus of the Claudia and Pontus Friedman. There is also an inscription on the east side added in the 17th century. This inscription commemorates the excavation and restoration work carried out during the time of Pope Alexander VII. The tomb of Gaius Cestius was located inside the pyramid within a small burial chamber. The chamber was rediscovered in the year 1660 during the Pope's restoration. They discovered the small room was decorated with several detailed wall paintings, so-called frescoes. They were, however, in bad condition, and only parts of them remain today. These paintings are some of the first examples in Rome of the so-called third-style Roman painting. They found no traces of any other contents in the tomb as it most likely had been plundered in the past. During the excavations, they also found traces of several columns and statues outside the pyramid, remains of which can today be found at Musei Capitolino. Inscriptions on the base of the statues imply that the burial chamber, despite its small size, served as a family tomb for several members of Cestius' family. 
The pyramid has been much admired by architects throughout history and it became the primary model for pyramids built in the West during the 18th and 19th century. Today, it is the only ancient Roman pyramid standing in Rome, making it a truly unique site. <laughs>